Hey guys, welcome back to more Persona 5, and in this episode, we're going to infiltrate Madarame's palace. But there's one slight problem, the line is incredibly long, so we're going to find our own way in by jumping over this wall. <laughs> Man, I love that, and this is really how he thinks of that rundown shack? It's overwhelmingly shiny. Yeah, it's kind of gaudy, and it's just not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. Maybe it isn't. Is that a possibility? And that's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. Yeah, enough waiting around, and man, I actually really like this dungeon. I also really like the sky outside, even though you don't see it a lot. Kind of reminds me of like this really vivid memory I had as a kid. I don't know why. Anyways, enough talking about that. Now it's time to get you infiltrating. And since, goddamn, I want more money. There's no downside to having a lot of money in Persona, and we're gonna need a ton of cash for something that's gonna happen like a couple months from now. Might as well go after every single treasure you can find. It's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. And I'm gonna do a bit of a better job in my eyes of showing you where all of them are in this palace. But for right now, yeah, don't really wanna deal with those security guards down there, so let's head up to this area. This is a really easy one to miss. Because seriously, why would there be a vase just sitting right there? Anyways, this looks like a good way to get in and ooh, the skylight's open. I think we get in here, but it's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get out this way? Oh yeah, that's true. And <laughs> don't worry, I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist after all. So what's your call, Joker? Want to head inside? Heck yeah, let's get to it. As long as we have an exit plan, I mean, pretty much good to go, right? Man, this is like straight out of a movie. This is so cool. Oh my god. So happy an art museum is the next place, and it's quiet. Almost too quiet. Hey, this... It's moving. Yeah. Come on, we're in a palace. Ain't anything to freak out over. <laughs> Good point, Ryuji. It's pretty tame, actually. And, hmm, the palace reflects its ruler's heart. You may want to check these paintings out. I mean, I was going to do it anyways. I wasn't just going to walk away from it, but... Huh, this guy reminds me of someone... I knew an Inaba. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, hey. Some kind of explanation here. Let me see. Someone's name and age. The heck? It's kind of a strange thing to put on a painting, and it can't be the title, right? I think it's the artist's name. Has to be. Hmm. Let's check the other paintings, too. I think there might be something important about them. I mean, I wasn't just going to ignore them, but... Yeah, I don't know about you guys. Some people say that they can see characters from past Atlas games in these portraits. Um, hasn't been confirmed or denied by the company, but personally, I don't see it because my uh, cognitive interpretation of these uh, paintings might be a little bit different from yours. But anyways, although that one kind of does, if you look at it the right way, look like another character. Anyways, this is kind of strange, though. They're all just portraits. Tons of them, in fact. You no, know, like, drawings of a bowl of fruit or anything? Hey. What the heck, and this doesn't make any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles, but all the portraits on display here look the same. It's way different from what was at the... Wait a sec. Like how we usually noticed that while he was looking the other way. That's the guy we saw in Mementos. You know, he was crab talking Madarame? Oh yeah, it does. Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him here? Yeah, isn't this Matarame's palace? And more importantly, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Yeah, that's really strange. Hmm. This is quite the mystery. Alright. Let's keep looking around for now. So not as immediately evil as Kamoshida's castle, but it's still kind of eerie. All these portraits of people with just their names. It's like he's collecting them or something. I don't know. It's just the vibe I'm getting. Speaking of vibe, I don't know. The music's really, like, chill, but... Oh my gosh, the atmosphere's strange. And what is going on here? No way. It's Yusuke. Oh man, looks like our fears were justified. Hey. Isn't this a painting of that guy? Uh, looks like him. Maybe it's his twin? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Oh. Well, that's not good. Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Uh, things you put on the wall because they look pretty and <laughs> well painted. <laughs> Maybe they're Madarame's pupils. I think you're right. Hmm. What? For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke we went to his place before. Oh, yeah. There's just one. This must include former pupils as well. 
Only one remains now. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Hmm. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Yeah, a little more evidence ought to do it. Jeez. Well, there's no mistaking it. This has to be Madarame's palace, but why exactly are all his past pupils here? I mean, kind of like have a hint, but we need some more confirmation. Okay, that's just a good. That is actually really cool. I forgot about that. And there's a pamphlet. Let's help you find something. Yeah, the map for the uh, guide of the music. <laughs> yeah, investigate anything that gets your attention, God. That's just so funny to me, because it would actually make sense to find this in a museum, like, lobby, right? This is a pamphlet? It's getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why bother making something like this? <laughs> oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. <laughs> like, I would just, like, poke fun at the fact, isn't this a little too detailed and well thought out? <laughs> Anyways, the palace treasure isn't on there. It's a possibility, though, if we find the map. Should be a good reference to the scale of this place. Hmm. The map only shows half the museum. Bummer. I see. It says one out of two. I wonder if it's going to be like one out of four later on. And, and the two out of two has got to be around here somewhere, right? So how big is this place? Yeah, good question. We can worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is looking into Madarame's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. Hmm. I mean, it's got a palace. Seems pretty fishy to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, Still gotta go after him, but we may have to change our attempt later on. We got a protect mask. This doesn't actually give us any stats in anything, but seeing how a lot of my party just has the standard accessories on, which don't really do anything. Evade curse low. Eh, might be good on on. Maybe. I don't know. And I keep saying on on. And that chest is locked. I'm gonna... Okay, it has a snuff soul in it and some other stuff, but I'm honestly not too worried about that right now, so... We'll save my lockpick for later on. Oh my gosh. This thing's beautiful. Also kind of creepy. Hmm. Yeah, this thing's definitely suspicious. Look at this. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still! When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display, but Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? We should confirm these facts with Yusuke first. Yeah. Confirm what though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. A famous, renowned artist, huh? Oh, this might be tougher than Kamashita. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what! Oh, 
Well, that clears up any doubt in our mind. Yeah, something fishy is going on in that shack, and the reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Yeah, that's the only thing we don't get right now, and hopefully we can find out later. Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owed your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitagawa-kun, Madarame isn't a problem, right? Yeah, but... What are you getting at? I don't really see... Yeah, something wrong. I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still... Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah. I guess that's part's totally different from what happened in Kamoshida, since we're all his victims, yeah. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but... If an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So, we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarame's worth going after or not? I don't know. But me. I never forgive that jerk. Yeah, but you're not. So we gotta see how Yusuke feels about it. Yeah. I guess we could talk to him some more after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Alright, sounds like a plan. That's a good point, like, with Kamoshida, he was directly affecting our lives. And we don't even know Madarame. What if he has a palace, but... I don't know, no point in overthinking, and god dang, I just wanna play the game and... Hey, it's me. Oh, what's up, man? I uh, just can't forgive Madarame. But what Aunt said made me think. Well, that's a rare occurrence, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop, and... To Yusuke? Are we just a bunch of thugs? I'm not Yusuke, how the crush should I know, Ryuji, but yeah, I don't know his opinion. You don't know either, huh? No! Make him pay. <sighs> it ain't like he thinks it. it ticks me off just thinking about it. Okay, what are you gonna do about it? Good people have to put up with some crap while <laughs> cruddy adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? Uh, don't worry, man, we're gonna take care of things, but yeah. just don't get riled up. Aw, yeah! What's all Anna calls you, though? By the way, uh, seriously. Okay, Ryuji. See, See you tomorrow. The phone call is extremely... I don't... Something's going on with Ryuji. I think he's, like, really too concerned how other people perceive him when we literally just met. Just throwing that out there. That's an easy thing to get wrapped up in, though. The opinions of others is, like, something I'm pretty sure a lot of people, like, struggle with on a daily basis. I'm not saying I don't, I'm just saying it's common. Alright, I contacted Kitakawa-kun about modeling for him. So I went for the response, thanks. really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Uh, <laughs> cover yourself in paint, maybe? It's worth a try. Can you at least try to take this seriously? Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. Just sit there, I don't know. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarame, remember? That is true. Yeah, no sense overthinking it. It's not like Kitagawa-kun wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Huh. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. Okay, sounds good. Hopefully it's soon, though. Ideally today, so we get started in the palace as quickly as possible. Though security seemed kind of low. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Well, yeah, that's some good news, right? We can get started right away. Hmm, perfect. He probably changed plans immediately just so he could get you over th I see what you're getting at, Ryuji. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Yeah, he's the only one who'd know. Hey, quiet down. Is that the student council president? Oh, goodness. That's not good. It's definitely not good if she sees us hanging out with Ryuji and on. And also our cat that's just out in the open. Oh, man. Mishima, don't tell her nothing, dude. On, man. Yikes. She's got a hold of Mishima today. Uh oh. It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Yeah. Gotta find a new place to hang out, I guess. Okay, see you later. Crud, man. She's making things hard on us. She already, like, kicked us out of her hideout suit. Man, what are we gonna do? Oh well. Right. Guess we'll just have to figure something out. Finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Madarame. Well, we gotta wait for On, right? Man, where is she? She's late! Oh crap. Sorry. Oh, there she is. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. <sighs> oh well. Thinking about what? Hey. Don't you think Kita Gabakun has to be protecting Madarame? Uh, don't follow. Sorry. I mean, they live together, so 
he'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Madarame has something on him. Huh. Yeah, that is weird. Wait. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, I'm prepared. But what do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Is that what took you so long? Hey. Something seemed different about her to you? Um... Get a new haircut or something. I don't know. She looks the same to me for you. <laughs> like how he touches his hair there. Oh, nice eye. I didn't cut them. Yeah, that'd be a little too overkill. Be a model. Huh? Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. <laughs> Just totally derailed from that conversation. Kitagawa kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Yeah, he was pretty enamored with you, on. Can't blame him. And once he's finished drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Let's put it in action. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No. Not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Hmm. You hear her? It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Hm. Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring. So I'm going to scout around a bit. Meanwhile, while the painting's going on, hmm. we're gonna just checking this out and just read how flashy that door is. Is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? I'll tell you what's not in there. The crusty crabs, Krabby Patty, secret formula. Cause that's a bikini bottom. <sighs> Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still! <sighs> Kitago-kun? Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. <laughs> I 
I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! Nude?! Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model! Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Huh? Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron! Dare that Yusuke. The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna. Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then Lady On. You're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? What? Are you saying I'm... Uh, no, I mean... That's not what this is about! We must deal with Madarame. No matter what, 
before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Me? I don't know nothing! I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. Man, we didn't find crap! This sucks. Whatever. I still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lady on nude and then claiming to report us to the pl Yeah, kind of a jerk move. <laughs> Just saying, but... I wonder if she's actually gonna go through with it. Hello? Hmm, anyways, let's get her head out of the gutter. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. Mishima, come on. I was being actually... a... Anyways, someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. So he wanted to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Wait, we only changed one guy's heart, right? But Dude, can't you handle this for me, man? I'm busy. You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. Oh. All I know is that Starry is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. Uh-huh. I'll have him wait for you at the Shibuya station after school. Okay. The guy's name is Nakanohara. No way. Hmm. Nakanohara. Hmm. That's Madarame's student. Yeah, that's like a direct victim. He was in the palace too. Hey, good work, Mishima. That's all to approach you. you. Good luck. Thanks, man. You know, Yuki's not a bad guy. He's pretty, pretty dang helpful for the crap I'm giving him, which I did for no reason. I found out something insane about Madarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarami stealing his work. Oh my god, that's terrible. Is it true, though? I mean, rumors get crazy. That journalist may be looking into Madarami, too. It could be real. Someone died, though. No one's talking about it. Bet it was covered up. Jeez. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us. Yeah. People are dying, though, over this? This is terrible. Ain't they asking a bit much? After today, he's probably going to be on edge about us. Well, anyway, Matarami still a piece of crap, in case you forgot. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. <sighs> Is that Passway in Shibuya, right? Yeah, not a really great hideout. Got it. See you guys tomorrow. All right, peace out. The rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true. There have to be other victims. Yeah, but how many of them are alive? Jeez. Pretty much confirmed, right? Madarame's pretty messed up. I gotta put an end to this so this is the truth, but if it is the truth, then why isn't Yusuke speaking up about it? That's the only piece of the puzzle. And why would he even do this to begin with? He's an artist, can't he just make his own stuff? I don't know, there's just like two or three things we don't get. Maybe once we meet up with this guy, things will become a little more clear. And Yeah, the new hideout. Speaking of Shibuya, didn't Mishima say Nakanohara would be there? Yeah, we should probably hustle and get to that. Because this is pretty important information, and we're about to head to the hideout, too. Well, hey, good timing. Hmm? Wait, who's that? Um, oh. 
Excuse me. Hey, man. It's that guy. Yeah. It's Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. Wow, this is awfully convenient. For real? Yeah, I um, guess. And my name is Nakanohara. Natsuhiko Nakanohara. The one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like he's the soccer type. Yeah, not really. I think the change of heart must have worked. Just saying it right in front of his face. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. Hmm. So what do you want? Uh, so now we're UG. So you're out. You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. Hey. Ooh, you think this is it? Is the pupil gonna confess his master's secrets? Let's hope so. His shadow did mention Madarame as well. I hope you two were like whispering over there and I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home. Right, thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist, but didn't work out, did it? There was another pupil as well. A very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Huh. All right, you got some real proof of the plagiarism. Yeah, that's great. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Oh my huh? God, suicide? Jeez, it wasn't a rumor. He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. God dang it. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's pleas and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world and my life as a painter was destroyed. Jeez. I tried to turn over a new leaf, working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again. Please, make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only from me, it's to save the life of another man as well. The... Another man? Are you talking about Yusuke? Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That doesn't make him a man, just saying. It has to be Yusuke. Yeah. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. <clears throat> so Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. Dang, this is messed up. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living in Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And do you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Dang. kitagawa -kun. I have no right to say this, given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. God. I didn't know the situation was so dire. He died. The rumors are real. You've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. Yeah, I think we got all the evidence we need. It sounds like we don't have the time to debilitate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Yeah, we gotta act fast. We gotta save Yusuke, no matter what. <sighs> Heck yeah. Madarame's just a piece of crap who preys on the weak. Yeah, can't get away with it forever. <laughs> Suicide. Never let something like that happen. After what happened to Shiho. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitagawa kun really feels. Yeah, okay. straight from the victim. Well, since we've reached an unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? Sounds good to me. Let's get things underway. My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Matarame. We all saw that palace. 
We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here! We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? And now that we got the info and our new hideout, it's time to start the mission. This is the first job for the Phantoms, so let's make sure we do it right. Come on, it's time to get started on the mission. Yeah, there's a lot on the line here. And now we have our new deadline, 18 days to steal Madarame's heart. And the mission will begin. However, from this point onward, there will be special obstacles in the palaces preventing us from completing the entire thing in a single day. So you have to keep that in mind moving forward. But with that being taken into account, we still are not fully prepared to enter the palace today. Instead, we're gonna do some confidants and yeah, that's it for today. Because we could enter the palace, but we actually don't want to do that. Instead, we're going to raise a confidant. Now, I know the game's like, okay, we can't beat air around the bush any longer. We gotta save Yusuke, but it's like, mm, can we wait till Thursday? Basically, next time, we're gonna enter the palace. But for right now, we want to raise a confidant with a specific person who we've been speaking to quite often. And there's actually a new confidant we can start today, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Right now, I need to sell some treasure because we're gonna need a lot of money. I talked about briefly in the beginning of this episode how coming up soon we're gonna need a lot of cash and uh yeah iwa here is gonna help us with that and you again you're gonna try and sell me something weird uh not this time and the modified gun should be powerful weapon to use in the palace yeah 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 unfortunately we can't bring up the gun that this guy gave us because guess what we don't have enough guts it's gonna take us a while to get that much guts but oh well what are you gonna do and Mm, should we not? Not today. And you gonna buy something? No, okay. you're gonna buy something. So, Treasure MP5 has no other use other than selling it to vendors. So make sure you do this every time before you assault a palace. If you get a lot of treasure, it actually adds up pretty darn quickly. If you're done here, go home. This ain't no place for kids. Dang it, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, just wanna knock that out. Now, the other thing I really wanted to do is right across from us. Starting today, you can actually establish a new confidant inside the velvet room and uh... Not sure how to feel about this confidant, but whatever. Let's just head straight into prison. So we're gonna unlock this new function from the velvet twins, which uh... Yeah, it's gonna make my life a whole lot easier. And uh, mm. hi there. I see. Your rehabilitation is going well. You must surely be accustomed to infiltrating palaces by now. Mmm... Not really. We're getting there, though. Slowly but surely. Regardless, you have yet to obtain a truly acceptable number of personas. This is not the full potential of the power of the wild card. Hmm... I suppose this is a prime opportunity 
to help further your rehabilitation along. Don't worry. This assignment is not mandatory. Think of it as almost as a test of strength. Uh... What? We will have you bring us the mask we specify. Okay. I can do that, I guess. You just gotta show us the persona we ask for. I can manage that, I guess. First off, we would like for you to bring us a Jack Frost. That's too easy, Justine. It should be a challenge. Hmm. I wanted to have my boo food too. Okay. I can handle that. You got that inmate. Bring us a Jack Frost with Mabufu. Very well. We ask for a Jack Frost with Mabufu. Please speak to us once you have it. Well, here's a crazy thing. I already do. This will not be mandatory for your rehabilitation. But you will be handsomely rewarded for it. I encourage you to at least try your hand at this. Okay. Oh. I can manage that. Wait. Hmm? That persona. Hey, sit right there. Okay, jeez. It seems you brought the specified persona. Huh. Fine, I'll take it. By the way, your personas are super weak. Not that I'm surprised, inmate. Though I guess you deserve at least some praise for finishing your penal labor. You might actually complete your rehabilitation. In order to promote that process, we would like to offer you the use of a new facility. <laughs> it's rare to see you smile, Justine. You are the smiling one, Caroline. Did something happen to make you so joyful? Me? <gasps> hey! Are you laughing at us? Know your place, inmate! As wardens, we simply feel satisfaction in seeing your rehabilitation progress. That is the extent of it. I find it upsetting that you would see such a matter as a source of amusement. It's like you forget where you are, inmate. You've got some real guts, though. With that spirit, you should have no trouble making progress. Very well, then. If you have the will to continue your penal labor, we can grant you greater freedom within this prison. It is a deal between us, the Wardens, and you, the inmate. Not like you have the right to turn it down, though. Hard work is what you're meant to do, inmate. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the strength persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. It's time for your next task. The Strength Confidant has now been established, and with it, we'll get our next request. She wants a Shisa with Frey. I can manage that eventually, but I'll be frank with you guys. Once you get this Confidant established, there isn't really a real reason to progress it any further right now. And Just hurry up and finish the task at hand, inmate. I'm not going to do that, because you two are kind of jerks. But you can basically save this confidant for the end of the game if you desire and I desire to do that So let's check it out. So with This new form of fusion we can fuse a couple of different persona However, they're extremely high level, but they are going to be a lot stronger because group guillotine Just functions that way and once we get new persona the amount of persona that we're going to be able to take and like fuse together to create even stronger one, it's just going to get better and better. So all around, hey, it's nice to get that established. And let's actually look at our confidants. We got a couple of new ones. I think, yeah, we got Yoshida. Looks really like old on his screen. And Justine and Caroline. 
looking very uh interesting as well man i love this artwork so much it's the black and the white but anyways guys that is going to do it for this episode of persona 5 we have our new goal seal Matarame's heart and in the next episode of persona 5 we're gonna enter the palace and get started on that thanks again for watching see you next time bye